The perfect back to school exhibit is set up at the Putnam. It's a, a history of our local schools and the artifacts are really special. Christine Castell and Scott Peake are here from the Putnam. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what a fun thing. Have you done this before at, at the Putnam, Christine? Have you had such a thing? Well, um, this is a part of our new regional history gallery, mm -hmm. uh, Common Ground, and uh, um, we feel that education is a, important enough that we need to have a case yes. in there on education so um, how were you able to gather all the things Scott was that hard to do she's the expert yeah, she, I know you had to <laughs> I'm find just it, marketing and, she's and now the you had to make sure that you were handling it correctly right I did <laughs> well let's look at what you brought today Christine okay um, I know you have to put your special gloves on I because <laughs> okay so remember back when we took home ec in school they when uh, schools taught home ec uh, mm -hmm. You're going to show us an apron. I am. From what, which school? Um, this one was from Davenport High School. Which is Davenport Central now, but it was just Davenport High School. This is an apron that the girls would have worn. And it was made in sewing class made. for them to use in cooking class. Yeah. So the girls in the early 1900s, their focus was on home taking mm -hmm. care of a home because mm -hmm. they were intended to be future wives. So the education that these women received was much different than the um, female high school students will receive now. Yeah, wow, isn't that something? Now, that is from, literally from more than 100 years ago. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Isn't that something? And so that's uh, that's part of the exhibit. And then this, is this a, a toy, Christine? It's a toy, and it was made in Rock Island shop class. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that the boys would take uh, back then, girls never took shop. But um, yes, um. the art classes did the painting, and this was for um, the Red Cross. So uh, that's, pa that's painted. It is, because, yes. I mean, the the black part almost looks like <laughs> magic marker or something, but I'm sure it wouldn't have been. From so how old is this? This one dates back to the 1920s, mm. and we discovered this program through a photograph that I found on the National Archives. Mm -hmm. So I had no idea that this program even existed with the Red Cross. Mm, that's something. Uh, Scott, you got to say anything about any of this? What do you think? Well, it, you know, there's a lot going on at the Putnam. Mm -hmm. and with this is one of the things. Yeah. This is one of the things. And it's back to school time. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about today. Yeah. So, of course, we're thinking about back to school at the Putnam. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a couple different things coming up. One of which, you know, you think of the Putnam, you think of kids, right? Well, we have a new thing called History on Tap. As you can imagine what that might be like. Yeah. Um, it's an adult lecture series that'll be in the evenings starting September 21st. And then it'll be every third Thursday after that. The History of Beer? It's not about the history of beer. It's history and beer. History. Oh, oh, it's boy. Where, where <laughs> There's a combo. Here's, here's the tagline. Where education meets libation. Ooh, <laughs> now there's, a, there's a promo line right there. So it'll be a number of different topics. The okay. first one being a uh, travel log to Egypt. Really? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Are you in on any of that, Christine? Uh, many of the topics that we're doing are topics that we addressed in the Common mm -hmm. Ground exhibit. Mm -hmm. So. Common Ground, Our Voices, Our Stories, uh, which is, you know, you guys do that so well there because it's all about community mm -hmm. as well at, at the Putnam. Uh, these other things we're looking at right now, Scott, tell me, uh, tell me what we're seeing here. These so this is, uh, what you just saw there was the storytelling booth and the um, recent history section hmm. um, where you as the visitor are asked to submit your top news story of the year because hmm. the last five years are always represented in the exhibit. And so we take suggestions from the public and it will help decide what 2023's timeline should look like. That is great. So that's a, a nice thing to participate in as, as you visit, right? Right. And so, Christine, you you were telling me 19 years at the, at the Putnam. Correct, yes. yes. Um, do you find that when people go, they expect different things now from the Putnam than they, than they would have even 19 years ago? Yes, I, I think that, well, first of all, it's a... Uh, post-COVID world and we all are changed yeah. whether we wanted to or not we've all changed um, it, kids particularly um, as they get more and more into digital want immediate gratification and so we try to address that in the uh, museum exhibit is that we anticipate what they're going to want and we try to provide that how forward thinking, Scott. That's yeah. really that's, that's great to hear. It, I mean, because you can really feel how people want to see things, you know, immediately or in different ways. Mm -hmm. But I think history like this, this still holds up because mm -hmm. for a kid to see that, first of all, to understand what home ec was and actually sewing in school, um, and that there's a there's a 
memorabilia from that time mm -hmm. is uh, and it's local. So mm -hmm. that, that, that's a special thing. So this goes on for how long, Christine? The, uh, the school exhibit, yeah? Um, the school exhibit is going on as long as the permanent ex exhibit will be there. Okay. So. Um, and Scott, how about the rest of it then that you had mentioned? So History on Tap starts uh, September 21st, mm -hmm. and then it'll be every month on the third Thursday. And then we've got some other programs coming wow. up too. So Wow. Well, it's great to have you both here. It's really nice what, you, what you've done. Beautiful. Thank you. We'll wrap it up.